these drone mysteries are still continuing. In the meantime, federal documents detail dozens of drone sightings at several U.S. nuclear power plants. The last one was over uh, Arizona nuclear power plant, and uh, it, they did not have any license to fly over that. It was not uh, allowed. Now, a new collection of documents obtained from the Freedom of Information Act FOIA reveals a total of 24 U.S. nuclear facilities were sites of unexplained drone incursions between December 2014 and October of 2019. Sputnik uh, Douglas uh, D. Jones reported, volunteer researcher, Douglas C. Jones, researcher with the Scientific Coalition for Unidentified Aerospace Phenomena Studies, obtained Federal Aviation Administration documents through a FOIA request, and this is what he found. He discovered that federal authorities had abandoned any probe into several mysterious drone sightings over Colorado and Nebraska. Why did they abandon the investigation? That's the serious question that has to be answered. Later that month, South London-based technology journalist, consultant, author David Hambling reported that additional U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission R NRC documents obtained by Johnson explained at least two occasions in which a number of small drones buzzed around the Palo Verde nuclear power plant in Maricopa County in Arizona. The Palo Verde facility generates about 35% of Arizona's total electric capacity. Officer noted several drones, that is five or six of them, flying over the site. The drones were circling the three, they were circling the three unit site inside and outside the protected area. This is what an official report noted of one such event, which was followed by a similar event the night after that. But the armed guards were unable to stop either drone flight, which reportedly lasted for some 80 minutes, that's almost an hour and a half, and they were not able to stop the drones flying. That is tremendously serious. Now, Hambling explained Monday that a follow-up FOIA request was issued by Johnson, who uh, received a list, a list of at least 57 security incidents, SIDs they're called, that occurred between December 2014 and October 2019. The, this UK-based journalist noted that the list was uh, generated, three of the incidents were identified as quote-unquote open, and five were marked as closed resolved. But Hambling further explained that a total of 49 cases were marked closed unresolved. So why were they closed if they were unresolved? Hambling said, this indicates that for 85% of the cases, the NRC has no idea who the perpetrators are or what their intentions were and has given up on finding them. That's not an excuse in my book. No way. Though only seven drone incidents were reported for 2017, that figure increased threefold to 21 SIDs in 2018. Now, similar to the Palo Verde nuclear plant in, our, in Arizona, several locations were visited multiple times by drones, such as Perry Nuclear Power Plant in Cleveland, Ohio, which was the site of six SIDs. The total of seven incidents were logged by the Diablo Canyon Power Plant in St. Louis Obispo County in California. Another SID involving a pair of industrial-sized drones, so you can imagine how big they were, occurred at Palo Verde, December 2019, despite the introduction of so-called drone detection technology following the two September 2019 SIDs. And despite the mystery drone's ability to penetrate federal defenses, Security personnel pointed out that no flyovers have yet exhibited a threat to nuclear power plant, according to Hambling, citing FOIA-obtained documents. God forbid! Can you imagine if these flyovers of these mystery drones were a threat to nuclear power plants? That would be just too late, wouldn't it? This, to me, is a terrible uh, disaster as far as security, national, uh, national security interests. These have to be resolved. Somebody has to reopen these closed, unresolved cases and figure out what was going on. They have to really increase security and somehow just take these drones down. Just bring them down. 
And obviously, they're not everyday drones you could buy in a store. These are industrial-sized drones. They're bigger, and uh, obviously, they must be specially made, so they would be easily traced back to their producer and to find out who actually uh, ordered and um, who these things, who these uh, things, which entities these things were sold to. So anyway, this is on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.